Did you know that garlic is the most consumed vegetable in the world? That's right. Yet so many of us are making some pretty common mistakes when using it. Are you one of them? Stay with us because today we're going to talk about eight garlic mistakes you need to stop making right now. Hey, everyone. Garlic isn't just a cooking staple. It's got some serious health perks from boosting your immune system to promoting heart health. But here's the thing. Not everyone knows how to use garlic correctly. And that's where we come in. We're about to uncover common mistakes that might be ruining your garlic game. So my request to you is that you must watch the video till the end and like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So let's start. Garlic is more than just a kitchen staple. It's a powerhouse of flavor and health benefits. But what if I told you that many of us are unknowingly undermining garlic's true potential? Yes, it's true. Despite garlic's reputation for enhancing both our meals and our health, the way we handle and use it can make all the difference between tapping into its full power or falling short of what it can offer. You see, garlic's benefits go far beyond just adding a kick to your favorite dishes. It's been hailed for its medicinal properties for centuries, known to boost immunity, improve heart health, lower blood pressure, and even act as a potent antioxidant. But here's the catch. If garlic isn't handled correctly, a significant amount of its nutritional and medicinal value can be lost, meaning you're not getting the most out of this amazing ingredient. So... What's going wrong? In the kitchen, people often fall into common garlic traps without even realizing it. These mistakes are easy to make but have a surprisingly large impact. The first mistake often happens during preparation. Many of us struggle with peeling garlic, spending far too long fumbling with the sticky skin, or worse, trying to peel it under running water, which can actually start leaching out some of the garlic's natural oils. Then... There's the issue of how quickly we move from chopping to cooking. Did you know that chopping garlic and throwing it straight into a hot pan is one of the quickest ways to ruin its health benefits? Garlic contains a compound called allium, which needs to be activated by an enzyme called allianase to form allicin, the key player responsible for most of garlic's health-boosting properties. This reaction only occurs when garlic is chopped or crushed and needs time to develop. By rushing garlic straight into the heat, you prevent allicin from forming, cutting off garlic's superfood potential at the source. Another common problem is cooking garlic at high heat. We love a sizzling pan, but garlic burns easily, and when it does, it turns bitter and loses its health benefits. High heat destroys allicin along with its flavor, leaving your dishes with a burnt, unpleasant taste. To protect garlic's potency and flavor, it's crucial to cook it gently at low to medium heat. Storage is another issue. Many people store garlic in the fridge where moisture can cause it to spoil faster. Or they reach for pre-chopped garlic from a jar, thinking it's just as good as fresh. However, jarred garlic often contains preservatives that strip away many of its health benefits, and it lacks the robust flavor of freshly prepared garlic. Perhaps the most overlooked mistake is wasting garlic simply because it is sprouted. Most people toss out garlic when they see green shoots, assuming it's past its prime. But sprouted garlic is still good and, in fact, may have even higher levels of antioxidants than its fresher counterpart. All of these mistakes, from peeling and chopping too soon to improper cooking and storage, add up to one major problem. You're not getting everything that garlic has to offer. Misusing garlic means missing out on its powerful health benefits and, on top of that, compromising the flavor of your meals. So the question is, how can we fix these mistakes and make sure we're getting the most out of every clove? Stay tuned, because I'm going to show you how. Now that we know the common garlic mistakes, let's look at each one more closely. We'll see why these mistakes are a problem and how to fix them. To get the best health benefits and flavor from garlic, it's important to understand these issues and use the right methods. Let's go through it step by step. Mistake one, peeling garlic incorrectly. Peeling garlic seems simple enough, but if you've ever spent a frustrating few minutes trying to remove the stubborn skin, you're not alone. Many people peel garlic one clove at a time using their fingers to try and pick off the sticky skin, 
not only is this time consuming, but it's also unnecessary. There's a quicker and easier way. The smash and peel method. Simply take the flat side of a large knife, press down on the garlic clove and give it a good smash. This will loosen the skin, making it much easier to peel off. Not only will this save you time, but it also helps preserve the garlic's oils, which contribute to its flavor. Using this method ensures that you aren't bruising or wasting garlic in the peeling process. Mistake two, not letting garlic rest after chopping. One of the most crucial yet often overlooked steps in garlic preparation is letting it rest after you chop or crush it. Garlic contains a sulfur compound called allium, which by itself doesn't have much effect. However, when garlic is chopped or crushed, allium comes into contact with the enzyme allinase, which triggers the formation of allicin, a potent compound responsible for most of garlic's health benefits. Here's the key. Allicin doesn't form instantly. It takes about 10-15 minutes for the enzyme reaction to fully activate. If you chop or crush your garlic and immediately toss it into a hot pan, you're cutting this process short, which means you won't be getting the full power of allicin to maximize garlic's health benefits, chop or crush your garlic, and then let it sit for at least 10 minutes before cooking. This small step can significantly boost the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of garlic, making it more effective in supporting your health. Mistake three, cooking garlic at high heat. We all love the sound of garlic sizzling in a hot pan, but high heat is one of garlic's biggest enemies. Garlic burns easily, and when it does, it turns bitter. With an unpleasant acrid taste that can ruin your dish, more importantly, burning garlic destroys its beneficial compounds, particularly a lichen which doesn't withstand high temperatures well. To prevent this, always cook garlic on low to medium heat. If you're sautéing garlic in oil, add it to the pan after the oil has heated up, but before it gets too hot. You want the garlic to gently cook and soften, not scorch. This slower cooking process allows the garlic to release its flavor and retain its health benefits. If you're adding garlic to a stir-fry or a dish that requires high heat, Consider adding it towards the end of cooking so it doesn't have time to burn. Mistake four, using pre-chopped garlic from jars. We get it. Pre-chopped garlic in jars is convenient. It saves time and you don't have to worry about peeling or chopping. But here's the thing, that convenience comes at a cost. Jarred garlic often contains preservatives such as citric acid, which help extend its shelf life but diminish its natural potency. Additionally, the garlic loses its fresh flavor and aroma which is a key part of its appeal in cooking. When you use fresh garlic, you get the full range of health benefits, as well as that signature punch of flavor. Pre-chopped garlic lacks the intensity of fresh garlic and can give your dishes a more muted taste. If you want to maximize both the flavor and health benefits of garlic, always opt for fresh cloves. It might take a little extra effort, but the payoff is worth it. M mistake five, not storing garlic properly. How you store garlic can affect its shelf life and quality. One common mistake is storing garlic in the refrigerator. While it might seem like a logical place to keep it fresh, the cold, moist environment of the fridge can actually cause garlic to spoil faster. The moisture in the fridge can encourage mold growth and cause the garlic to sprout prematurely. The best way to store garlic is in a cool, dry place with plenty of air circulation a garlic keeper with small holes, a paper bag, or even a mesh basket can help keep garlic fresh for longer. Avoid sealing it in plastic bags or airtight containers as this can trap moisture and speed up spoilage. Properly stored garlic can last for weeks or even months, ensuring you always have fresh garlic on hand. Mistake six, using garlic powder as a substitute for fresh garlic. Garlic powder has its place in certain recipes, but it's no substitute for fresh garlic. The process of drying and powdering garlic strips it of many of its health benefits and significantly alters its flavor. Garlic powder lacks the fresh, pungent aroma and the complexity of flavor that fresh garlic brings to a dish. If a recipe calls for garlic powder, you can certainly use it for convenience, but whenever possible, opt for fresh garlic instead.
The fresh cloves contain all the beneficial compounds, including allicin, which garlic powder lacks. If you must use garlic powder, look for high-quality brands that don't contain additives, and remember that the flavor will never match the vibrancy of fresh garlic. Mistake seven, throwing away garlic sprouts. Sprouted garlic gets a bad rap. Most people assume that when garlic starts sprouting, when you see those little green shoots, it's no longer good to use. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. Sprouted garlic is still perfectly edible, and in some cases, it may even have higher levels of antioxidants than fresh garlic. While the sprouts themselves can be slightly bitter, the garlic is still safe to use and retains its health benefits. You can either remove the sprouts if you prefer a milder taste or use the entire clove as is. Mistake eight, mincing garlic. Too far in advance. Another mistake many people make is mincing garlic too far in advance. Garlic starts to lose its flavor and nutrients the longer it sits after being chopped. This is because once garlic is exposed to air, its beneficial compounds begin to degrade. For the best results, try to mince garlic as close to cooking time as possible. Mincing garlic right before use ensures that it retains its full flavor and health benefits. If you do need to prep garlic ahead of time, try to limit this to an hour or two before cooking. You can also store prepped garlic in an airtight container in the fridge for a short period, but keep in mind that the fresher, the better. By avoiding these common mistakes, you can dramatically improve the quality of your garlic, both in terms of flavor and health benefits. Properly preparing and using garlic ensures that you're getting the most out of this versatile ingredient, allowing it to truly shine in your dishes. We've talked about some common mistakes, but now let's look at the biggest one. This mistake affects both your health and the taste of your food the most, it can make a big difference in how much of garlic's health benefits you actually get. So what is this important mistake? Not letting garlic rest after chopping. This may sound simple, but skipping this crucial step can dramatically reduce the effectiveness of garlic. When garlic is chopped, minced, or crushed, it begins a natural enzymatic process that leads to the formation of allicine, the powerful compound responsible for most of garlic's medicinal properties. Allicin is what makes garlic such a potent antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and immune booster. But here's the catch. Allicin doesn't form immediately. It takes time. And if you chop garlic and immediately toss it into a hot pan, you're short-circuiting this process, preventing allicin from fully developing. Essentially, you're robbing garlic of its superfood status. Instead of harnessing its full potential to boost your health, fight disease, and enhance your dishes, you're left with significantly fewer benefits. By allowing garlic to rest after chopping, ideally for 10 to 15 minutes, you give the enzymes the time they need to produce allicin in its full strength. It's a small step with enormous consequences. The difference between rushing garlic into a hot pan versus giving it time to rest could be the difference between benefiting from its cancer-fighting and heart-healthy properties or missing out on them entirely. But it doesn't just stop at health benefits. Letting garlic rest also enhances its flavor. Garlic that has been properly rested has a richer, more complex taste. It mellows in just the right way, allowing it to bring a balanced depth to your dishes, whether it's a savory sauce, a stir fry, or a roasted vegetable medley. This mistake is so common because most of us aren't aware of how important this rest period is. After all, garlic doesn't come with an instruction manual, but science has shown us that this simple waiting period can make a world of difference. And so the next time you're preparing garlic, remember to pause, chop it, crush it, or mince it, then step back and let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Use that time to prep other ingredients, heat your pan, or simply enjoy the anticipation of the meal you're about to create. This one small adjustment will maximize garlic's health-boosting effects Elevate your culinary experience and ensure that every clove you use lives up to its true potential. So there you have it. Eight garlic mistakes that you definitely want to avoid. From not crushing it to skimping on the quantity, these errors can seriously impact the flavor and health benefits of garlic. Remember, using garlic the right way can enhance your cooking and keep you healthy. So next time you're in the kitchen, 
Keep these tips in mind and let garlic work its magic. Now that you know the eight most common mistakes people make with garlic and how to avoid them, it's time to take action in your own kitchen. Whether you're a seasoned cook or just starting out, these small adjustments will make a big difference in the flavor and health benefits of your meals. First, go ahead and check your garlic habits. Are you peeling it the hard way? Have you been skipping the 10-minute resting period after chopping? Maybe you're still reaching for that jar of pre-chopped garlic because it's convenient. Don't worry. We've all been there. But now that you know better, it's time to make some changes. Here's what I want you to do. The next time you're cooking with garlic, try implementing just one of the tips we discussed. Whether it's letting your garlic sit before cooking, storing it in a cool, dry place, or avoiding high heat, pick one change and see how it affects your dish. Notice the difference in flavor and remind yourself that you're also boosting the health benefits of the garlic you're using. Once you've tried it out, share your experience in the comments below. I want to hear how these tips have changed the way you use garlic. Did you notice a difference in taste? Do you feel more confident in your garlic prep? And if you have any other tips or tricks for handling garlic that I didn't cover, let me know. This community is all about learning from one another and improving our cooking together. If you're interested in diving deeper into improving your cooking techniques, I've got plenty of other videos that can help. For example, if you're looking for more tips on how to store food properly to maximize flavor and nutrients, check out my video on food storage mistakes you might be making, or if you're ready to explore other powerful superfoods that can take your health and cooking to the next level, you don't want to miss my video on using turmeric effectively in your meals and if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. I'm constantly creating new videos with tips on cooking, health, and wellness, all designed to help you live your best life. Finally, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family who love cooking as much as you do. We all know someone who could use a little garlic guidance in their life, so spread the word. Together... We can help everyone get the most out of their garlic and make every meal healthier and more flavorful. Thank you so much for watching and for being a part of this community. I can't wait to hear about your garlic experiences, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, happy cooking!